All right, beautiful people. Uh, here's my disclaimer. As always, this is just what I'm doing to myself, not anything I'm recommending y'all do to yourself. Um, in this case, it's not my face, it's my body, but we will go ahead and proceed. I'm starting um, with some equipment here. I've got wax spreading sticks, gloves. Uh, that's my little wax warmer I got on Amazon. What else? Oh, carbon dye. This is the important and magical ingredient in this particular procedure. I also got that on Amazon. With some cotton gauze. I actually needed more than all that. And some rubbing alcohol. I hate waxing my armpits, so you'll note the enthusiasm here. Um, I did not know before this. I just don't find that the ax, uh, wax adheres very well if I do that, but I did go ahead and do just a little test strip for temperature on the back of my hand. This is the first time I've used this particular wax, so I um, wanted to kind of get a feel for it before I catch all of my armpit hair in it. Um, kind of like the consistency. It was just the bead hard wax that came with the product, um, but I'd buy it again. So I'm just uh, taking up a little, yeah, I didn't get any hair off of there. Taking up a little edge and then ripping, kind of trying to keep along, um, ripping along the skin as opposed to pulling away from the skin. I found that I have best results that way. Now my armpit hair grows in multiple directions as I just showed you. Um, almost forgot the other magic ingredient here, which is powder. <laughs> I'm using... Uh, <laughs> I'm using um, uh, like a monostat powder. It's medicated um, just because that's what I have. It doesn't have to be medicated. It just is trying to keep all of your skin from sticking to the wax and hopefully only get your hair to do that. Yes, pray to the Lord uh, that this doesn't end me on the floor. Um, applying the wax. Plan to do it twice here. I'm applying it, quote, in the direction of hair growth but let's be real it's the, the armpit my hair grows in every direction there so just trying to kind of get it in the direction of a lot of the hair growth and then see what's left and um, attack that with the second pass <sighs> how y'all doing I've been really busy and I'm getting ready to back, go back to work so I'm also really tired um, so I applied it the one direction, I'm going to rip it the other direction. And I am going to just hope and pray that um, this goes well. Slightly sticky, you don't want it to be rock hard because then it will break, but you also don't want it to be super, well, don't want it to be sticky really at all because um, then it won't have grabbed onto the hairs well enough. The whole point of doing this, oh yeah, um, before you pull, pull the skin taut in the opposite direction that you plan to pull. And then this is, you know, not as easy with an armpit, but here we go. Ah, mother pus bucket. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that one more than once. But... You know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, honestly. It's been a while since I waxed my armpits, but um, you can see all the little Sasquatch pelt I have on my wax there. Um, and you can see how efficient of a job it did. I really probably wouldn't have had to do a second go around, but I had a few hairs down there at the bottom, so I decided what the heck. Um... Another little round of powder, not too much, but some, and then we'll go again. This time I'm going to go in the other direction, uh, or a different direction. Apply one way and pull the other. So, while we do that, I'll talk about this carbon dye. had a little nip slip moment there. Excuse me. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> um, so I have really light hair, as you can see. Um, about a lot of it, and uh, a few years ago, I did um, a Groupon for like six laser hair removal 
things and I did my armpits and my Brazilian area and it didn't do much honestly they told me that I was kind of on the borderline for having enough excuse my nipple they, they go a little crazy sometimes they said I was kind of on the borderline for whether they thought it would work or not I mean so they weren't giving me super unrealistic expectations but I honestly thought my hair was dark enough to have worked and it didn't um not even for a while so I mean there was just never a change in my hair growth got a tiny bit that second pass but maybe not enough to be worth it and now I'm using a warm washcloth under my armpit to keep the pores open and also to kind of get some of that talc off this is carbon dye so this is from what I'm reading something that will get down into the hair follicles that I just emptied and turn them darker and it's that dark color that attracts the energy from the IPL um, what I did when I um, did this as a test patch on my leg I did the same thing this will not work if your follicles aren't empty so if you just shave and do this it's not going to do a darn thing you need an empty follicle to accept this atomized carbon and that's what it is it's not like a permanent dye for your skin it might dye your hair permanently i haven't tried it but it does come off skin with rubbing alcohol that's why i have the whole giant bottle of it um, but i'm rubbing it in there real good to try to get this stuff way down into the open follicles and that's why i'm doing it immediately after i pull the hair out is so those follicles are open I, I mean, I feel like if I wait five minutes, they're going to already kind of start closing up. So, um, But anyway, you're going to get that carbon down in those follicles. And then when you run the IPL over it, that carbon will be attracting the heat energy from the IPL. And um, hopefully killing those hair follicles. Uh, when I did this on my leg, what I noticed was... Um, that unlike when I would normally do IPL, because I have done a few IPL sessions since I got the machine, uh, more nip slips, excuse me, sorry, rogue nipple. Uh, <laughs> um, th those didn't really hurt at all. They didn't feel like they were generating much heat. Um, and frankly, I haven't noticed a whole lot of slowdown down in hair growth, although I have had that machine for a couple months um, so I, I would expect that I might see a little less hair regrowth but I just really didn't this is my machine it's a Bosodin I think it's really high quality it's got six heat settings on it I use it on six um, even with the carbon dye I use it on six um, it's got different settings for different body parts, arms, legs, armpits, that's that one, groin, face. Um, it's got a cooling head that defaults to on, that's the snowflake, so when it flashes it will also cool the skin. And then it's got, that last thing I chose was an automatic function, meaning I don't have to push the button when it comes in contact with my skin, it will flash and it will just keep flashing until I take it away from my skin. Um, so when I did this on my leg the first time with the carbon dye, I noticed heat, which I had not noticed before, like, like ouch heat, um, not unbearable, but definitely ouchy. And I noticed that burnt hair smell, um, which I don't know how that works with an empty hair follicle, but I did not notice that when I did it before, um, just having shaved and with my own unstained follicles in place. So um, I did that test about three weeks ago. My hair has hardly grown back at all since then, so I'm calling that a very positive sign. And because of that, I decided to go ahead with my armpits. I did both of them. I'm just going to show you the one. Um, and I, yeah, I'm supposed to be wearing the safety glasses that come with this thing, 
but frankly, I'm not looking at it. Um, and I use it when that thing is closer to my face, but, um, I didn't feel like using it for this. I just wanted to get this done. Um, this product will slightly stain your skin, um, but you want to rub off as much of the carbon dye as possible because you want the contrast between your skin and the follicle. So it needs to be able to find your follicle as opposed to um, just burning all your skin. I did a couple passes over this area. I always do two flashes in each spot. Um, it was very zingy and warm, <clears throat> but like I said, not unbearable. And uh, I will let you guys know when my results come in. Um, all in all, this didn't really take that long. Um, I could probably do another session tomorrow um, or before my next shower and uh, get some more heat energy into the dyed follicles because they do stay a little bit dark. But um, it's the next day when I'm doing this and I have not done a repeat session yet. Uh, this kind of this stuff kind of reminds me of ink, how you can get it out of clothing with alcohol. And it is atomized carbon. Uh, it will stain your sink. It will stain your clothes. It will stain whatever. So I had a um, kind of working area of disposable stuff set up so that I could clean up easily. <clears throat> and that's what it looked like afterwards. I had a little bit of a raw spot, but I was laughing because my husband walked in and peed. And we have a tiny little bathroom <laughs> right in the middle <laughs> of my session. Just walked in, peed, walked out. You guys didn't want to see that. Um, so here's how I'm getting this off. I just use rubbing alcohol. Uh, I did a couple of passes. Um, after this, I put on a um, spray crystal deodorant. It's like a mineral deodorant. I use a natural deodorant. And even more of the dye came off when I did that. I probably could have just jumped in the shower. But um, I just come out of the shower. Didn't really feel like it. All right. I'll let you guys know how it goes.